Hi everyone, this is Dr. Diana Songsong of nakabtutorial.com. In today's lesson, we are going to transform the equation of a line from slope intercept form to standard form. If this is your first time in my channel, do subscribe so that you will be notified for future videos like this. Enjoy watching! Let us recall class our slope intercept form so it is of the form y is equal to mx plus b it's just saying that your y appears on the one side and then the term involving x appears on the other side and the number multiplied to x is your m or your slope and your constant also um, is here this constant would be your um, y intercept okay we want to write it in standard form let us recall again what is standard form it's just saying that your terms with x and y are on one side of the equation and your constant appears on the other side. Now, let's look at this equation over here. y is equal to 2x minus 4. So, we want to put, we want to put our x on the other side together with your y, right? So, how will we do that? We need to remove the 2x here. So, how will we remove the 2x here? We need to subtract it from both sides okay so 2x minus 2x is 0 so on one side i now have y minus 2x is equal to negative 4. now recall that in our standard form the term with x appears first so i will just write y minus 2x as this can be written as negative 2x plus y so what is this saying i just copy don't forget to include the sign so that's negative 2x that's why here and then y here is positive y so that's why it's negative 2x plus y so that is the standard form of this equation so negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 4 clear another example we have y is equal to 5x over 2 minus 3. Now, usually, I do not want to work with fractions. So, what do we do to, in order to eliminate fractions? We multiply it by the fraction. So, in this case, our fraction is 2. I want to get rid of 2 as a denominator. So, how do we do that? We multiply both sides by 2. Okay? So, we have now 2y is equal to, I will just erase this part. Let me just write that. So this is, there you go. So what is this? 5x over 2 times 2. What is that? I will write it here. We have 5x over 2 times 2. So this gets cancelled out, right? So we're left with 5x minus, what's next? 3 times 2. That is equal to Six. So again, what are we doing here, class? We are distributing 2. 5x over 2 times 2 is equal to 5x. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Okay, maybe I should write it down. So it's just so that you will see that I am distributing. Alright? And then again, we want it in such a way that the terms involving the variables are together. So I will put mine, I want to get rid of the 5x here. So I will subtract 5x from both sides. So this becomes 0. So I will now have negative 5x plus 2y. Okay, so where did I get that? This part. Okay, this is negative 5x plus 2y is equal to what's left? Negative 6. So there you go. That is our standard form negative 5x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. For our last example, again, we have here fractions. I know that you do not want to deal with fractions, but that's life. We have to deal with fractions. Okay, now in this case, our fractions are 3 and 6, right? So how do we get rid of the, fra of the denominators 3 and 6? We multiply both sides by the LCD. What is the LCD of, what's the LCD? I mean, I should just write LCM. What is the LCM of 
3 and 6, that is equal to 6, right? What is the meaning of LCM again? The number that can be divided, the smallest number that can be divided both by 3 and 6. So let us multiply both sides by 6. So I have 6y is equal to, again, I am distributing, okay? So 4x over 3 times 6, what is that? Let me put that here for scratch. 4x over 3 times 6. So this becomes 2, this is 1. So therefore, that is 8x. I have 8x minus... We have 7 over 6 times 6. That's equal to 7. Understand? Okay, next. We want to put this term over here. So how do we do that again? If I have an 8x here, we subtract 8x on both sides. So 8x minus 8x is 0. So, we're left here with negative 7. And then over here, I will write this as negative 8x plus 6y. So, negative 8x plus 6y. There you go. That's our standard form. Negative 8x plus 6y is equal to negative 7. So this is a quiz. You have to write this in standard form. The answer to solution and the answer to this quiz can be found in our website. Just look at the link on the description below. I hope that you learned a lot from watching this video lesson. If you have any questions at all, please write them down on the comment section below and I will give you an answer as soon as I can. If you like this video, please share it and like it. And again, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. See you in my next video lesson.